also reminded that if they have... The head will find out about this! You okay, sir? Ah, uh, Jimmy. No, I'm not okay. I'm half drunk and I'm about to get fired. Fantastic! Oh, I'm a washed up old drunk and I'm only 34. English, you see, is a difficult subject to teach. I've tried any number of things to dull the pain. Yoga, meditation, needlepoint, looking at dubious sites on the internet, but nothing dulls the pain like scotch. Come on, sir, put that away. Are you mad? This is manna from the gods! Give me that! Let's get rid of this before you get busted. That's very kind of you, Jimmy. Miss Phillips is the only teacher to know about my vice. Take it to her. She will know what to do. Very well, young squire. Huh? How are you, young man? Can I offer you a highball? Yeah, sure. Actually, maybe you're a little young. Better keep this out of harm's way. <sighs> Are you gonna be all right, sir? Uh, it's that pompous ass Patrick. He's badmouthing me all around the staff room. Why? He keeps calling me a drunk. Says that I am irresponsible. He's trying to get me fired. He's trying to turn Miss Phillips against me. Well, sir, when people say bad things about what I do, I like to prove them wrong. Really? How? By showing a nobler side of yourself? Rising above it? No, not exactly. I like to show that they massively underestimated the force that they were dealing with, and then really give them something to complain about. Ah, uh, the treacherous Machiavelli! I love it! Good. Me too. Mr. Galloway, should you really be doing that? Oh, Jimmy. No, I suppose not, but life is unfair. You promised Ms. Phillips. Oh, God. What kind of world do we live in where I get punished for a minor indiscretion and Patrick gets away with taking bribes from his pupils? He does? Yes. He sells advanced copies of tests to the sons of his rich friends and nobody says a word. Wait, what rich friends? Well, Darby Harrington, for one. I can't believe he's selling tests. What if I got evidence of him doing this? <laughs> then I'd never need to drink again. All right, let me see what I can do. Hey, Mr. Galloway. Go away! I don't want to have another group therapy session with those people. If I have to pretend to be someone's mother one more time, I'll... Oh. Hi, Jimmy. Uh, what on earth are you doing here? Ms. Phillips sent me. She's really worried about you. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, uh, uh, I can't right now, Jimmy. I'm late for my regression therapy as it is. It's fantastic. I've discovered I really do hate myself. Patrick was right. I am a loser. No, you're not. Don't be ridiculous. Come on, we can't let bullies like Mr. Hattrick win. Okay, Jimmy. My first time with a teacher. Oh, man, this is gonna be great. Hey, Jimmy, what are you doing here? Nothing. What are you doing here? Ah. Uh, well, it's a little awkward, but since you've been such a good friend to me, Ms. Phillips, she's asked me, me, of all people, she, can you believe? She's asked me on a date. Wait, she asked you? I think you're mistaken. Uh, what? Yeah, I mean, I think there's been some sort of mistake. You sure you haven't been hitting the bottle again? No, I mean, yes, I am sure. Well, okay then. Hitting the bottle. Lionel, you came. You look great. So do you, Deirdre. Thank you. Wait, what? Jimmy, what are you still doing here? Uh, what do you mean? This boy is an angel. He's been magnificent. Uh-huh. And he is so cute. Cute. <laughs> nice. Come on, Lionel. Let's go. Bye, Jimmy. Jimmy, you should get back to school. Wait, Miss Phillips. Ah, oh, man.